Most of the Evergreen Line's elevated guideway is built by assembling guideway segments using this launching truss. Technical Director for EGRT Construction, Merrick Priest, walks us through the process. So the segment arrives on a flat deck truck. The uh, lifting bracket is then uh, placed on the segment and then with using the trolley crane on the uh, truss, we lift the uh, segment up into the air. We then trolley it into the uh, position that it's going to be in for the in the permanent configuration. Then it's uh, attached to the high strength thread bars that uh, you can see in the, on the truss. And once uh, once we're attached to the uh, thread bars, then the uh, load is secure and uh, we can have people and traffic working under it. Next, the trolley crane positions the first segment to be epoxied. With the yellow and orange frame holding a plastic sheet to catch any drips, the super strength epoxy is applied on the notched end that the teeth of the new segment will fit into. Then, from inside the hollow guideway, the new segment is tightly clamped in place. This process is repeated for each segment of the guideway span. We do have the uh, continuous beam now, but it still has to be supported by the truss. So the next thing we need to do is to uh, put the post-tensioning cables in. We uh, take the cables, we thread them from one side of the beam to the other, and uh, then we'll bring in a hydraulic jack and we'll stress each of those tendons up in order. One, one, nine. Okay. Yeah. Once the tendons are stressed up, then the, it's a complete beam so that we've taken the uh, segment and the placed epoxy between it to glue the segments together and then the post-tensioning tendons completes the process of forming a structural beam. Meanwhile, several columns back, a crew is fine-tuning the alignment. To get the smoothest ride for the SkyTrain, jacks are used and the temporary support bearings are replaced with cast-in-place bearings, providing the precise alignment from one span to the next. There are a few remaining tasks like waterproofing the tension cable ends and pouring a concrete locking key on top of each column, but now the guideway is ready for the arrival of the track work crew. The Evergreen Line, opening summer 2016.